Hi my lovelies, I hope you're all well. So here we have the Cricut Mug Press, very exciting. We're going to take a quick look inside and then we're going to go through how you register it so that you can then use your Mug Press. So when you open it up, you'll obviously find your Mug Press. all lovely and beautiful and then at the bottom there you've got all the leads and you've got the instruction manual and your guarantee as well. At the back of your mug press you'll find your power cord so you're going to plug that in and then obviously put your lead into a plug. I find the first time you plug it in it can be a little bit stiff so give it a gentle wiggle and it will go in. Next you'll find a mini power to USB cord that needs to be plugged in to your mug press and then the USB needs to go into your computer. You need to do this before you can use your mug press. It's really important that you connect it up to your computer so that you can register it. Just to make clear that you only need to do this the once or if it needs further updates, but you will be told if that needs to happen, but you do not need to plug it into your computer every time you want to use it. Once we've connected it to our computer, we're going to go to design space and then new product setup. We're going to select heat press and then mug press. So it's gonna tell us that we need to make sure our mug press is in a well ventilated area, that we've obviously plugged it in and then that we've connected it to our computer. Now you'll see that it's not actually coming up for me at the moment, which means even though I've plugged it in, it's not actually connected. So if this happens, you then need to go into your settings to connect it, and that's what we're gonna do now. So I'm gonna open up my computer settings by going to settings, and then I'm gonna go through into my actual settings, and I'm going to go to devices. And there I'll be able to actually go through and check that my mug press is connected. I can see that it's not, it's not there. So what I need to do is take out that USB from my computer port and put it back in so that my computer gets the chance to re-recognize it because at the moment it's not recognizing it. So I need to take the USB out and then put it back in and give the computer a chance to actually recognize that I've plugged the mug press in. As you can see, it's just popped up there, unknown device. So now I can come out of my settings and go back into design space. So this time it's come up with unknown device. So I can now select that and go to continue because I now know that my mug press is connected. I can then select activate and this will then do an update for me and it will make sure that my mug press is now ready to use. So very, very exciting. It is really important that you do this the first time that you are going to use your mug press. This is an absolute must. You must register it. You must get this update. Doesn't take very long at all. Just a few minutes. That's it. It's done. We can then go through all the other pieces. So it'll bring you to a help page like this and it'll go through the mug press. There's lots of different help areas on that page, tips, tricks. So definitely worth looking at. But once you've activated your mug press, it's now ready to go. As always, thank you so much for watching. This was just a very quick video to get you how to activate your mug press. And if you can't find or it's not activating, most likely it's because it's not connected to your computer. But you must make sure you do this before you go to use your mug press for the very first time. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you all again soon. Bye.